Our list begins with a former amateur golf champion and a former professional basketball coach. It's none other than NGAP board member and sportsman, Tommy Manotto. What makes him a newsmaker? This is a guy who is now the head of the Committee on Youth and, and, and uh, National Team Development with the NGAP. When he was elected into the NGAP, a lot of people had a lot of really good hope for the organization. He's been a, he's a Grand Slam coach in the PBA. He's a coach and he knows how to identify talent. That's why he's a newsmaker in golf. It's, it's good that uh, Tommy Manotto has, got elect, has gotten elected to the board of the National Golf Association of the Philippines. And while he's there, he has uh, probably done a lot for changing our some of the ways we uh, treat our events and some of the ways that the NGAP um, performs its tasks. Well, what did Tommy do? He gave us a silver medal in the Asian Games. He is the one who put together this team. He is an evaluator of talent. And that's why I really appreciate the fact that he is heading the committee he is heading in the NGAP. There are a lot of people who may be good sportsmen and who can identify talent just like he does. But in addition to being able to do that, one thing he does is he's able to find winners. There's a lot of people there with a lot of talent. You can identify them. Some people have it, some people don't. And, and fortunately for us, he has it. And fortunately, he's willing to, to do the work to find the talent. So that's really his advantage. It's a gift. It's a gift. And what does Reggie and Buddy look forward to in the near future from Tommy Manotok? I think we need him to solidify and to unite the entire golfing community. I hope uh, Tommy stays with the NJP. In a way, he can also be an instrument of uh, setting things in order uh, for the good of Philippine golf. Next up on our list is a young gentleman who has been making waves in Philippine golf. Silver medalist in the Asian Games and newly turned professional, Miguel Tabuena. Miguel Tabuena can be looked upon as a, an example for junior golf. Uh, someone, the junior golfers right now, could relate to and could become uh, inspired to follow his, uh, his footsteps. You're talking here about a 16-year-old with a swing to die for. I mean, you know, if, if I try this swing, I'll probably end up in a hospital with a chiropractor. He, his swing reminds me of Alvaro Quiros, and his length reminds me of Alvaro Quiros. So this guy, has a lot of potential. And he showed that. How many 16-year-olds do you know with the toys, with the ability to take in a situation, not crumble under the pressure, and then show the world that, hey, I can do this. You're talking about a 16-year-old who tried the qualifying school in the Asian Tour as an amateur and got in. How many people can do that? How many people can get into the Asian Tour? So this is a guy with a lot of promise. Miguel is seen not only as a great young golfer, but as the start of a new generation of golfers ready to take on the golf globe. I'd also like to view him as something like a symbol of this new generation coming up that's going to be great for the game. He's going to be the one leading this new charge. Just like Tiger was for his generation. Just like Ricky Fowler and Rory McIlroy are for their generation. This is the guy who's going to lead the charge for everyone else. As they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. His foundation definitely had a lot to do with it. Family support had a lot to do with it. Yeah, I, I really see him as somebody that can, can be the foundation himself for the growth of golf for the young people. And since Miguel is at such a young age, we have a lot to look forward to in his bright future ahead. I wish him well. Uh, I hope he does well uh, in his professional career. One of the pitfalls of uh, a professional, being a professional, I hope he maintains a hunger for glory, for achievement. I, I can see him progressing, and I think he has to tell himself that I have to progress at the pace that I'm comfortable with. Because only if he does that will we see his full potential blossom.
we can't force him to be the guy today. Will he be the guy tomorrow with the proper foundation, with the proper help? Yes. He is, after all, just 60. So let's remember that. Next up is one of the most respected golfers in the country. Not only because he has been qualified to play in the U.S. Senior Tour, but also because of his grace and charisma that only a professional golfer like him can pull off. Frankie Mignosa. He has been the embodiment basically of what a top professional golfer is in the Philippines. He has represented the country with much distinction throughout his career. What made him particularly significant recently is really his move to the Senior Tour. As we all know, he is now with the U.S. Senior Tour. Not a lot of people know that of the four events that he participated in in the European Senior Tour, he was second in three of them. He hasn't really made his mark yet. But what's significant is that in the qualifying school, he ended up second to Keith Clearwater. And in fact, in the PGA Tour website, he was listed as one of those they call sleepers. Reggie points out that Frankie is a newsmaker not only because of his game. He's cool, he's calm. Whenever you get to talk to him, he just, you know, very, very suavely says what he says. And that's really a very good trait for a golfer. He is not the type who you know, throws things, throws things around or gets really mad. He just keeps things calm, plays his game, keeps his cool, and produces. That's the important thing. Frankie shines brighter than ever, and his future will seem to do so too. I think he'll do really well in the U.S. Senior Tour. I think he has the game for it. His experience in the European Senior Tour shows us that he can do that. His experience in the qualifying school shows us he can do that. His experience in specific rounds in the three tournaments that he's played in shows us that he can do that. So I think one of these days he's going to get it together. And I think he's going to do us proud and actually possibly win a tournament in the Senior Tour. And lastly, an important observation from Reggie about Frankie. Frankie is very significant because he now gives a lot of hope for our senior golfers that, hey, there is a career once you hit 50. We've seen and heard about the three newsmakers of Philippine golf since 2010 and 11. And later on, the list continues. It's time for a quick break. Stay tuned for more of our 100th episode special.